Today, I am thrilled to have the opportunity to share with you some insights into the fascinating world of Pearson correlation and fitted line plot using Minitab. Polynomial regression examines the relationship between a continuous response variable, y, and a predictor variable, x. Use polynomial regression if you have a continuous y and one predictor, x, and if evidence or theory suggests a higher-order relationship such as quadratic and cubic polynomial. By utilizing polynomial regression, we can uncover hidden patterns and trends that may not be apparent with traditional linear regression. This enables us to make more precise predictions and understand the underlying dynamics of the data we are analyzing. As we all know, data analysis is an essential part of decision-making in any organization, and Minitab provides a comprehensive toolkit for statistical analysis for polynomial regression study. Let take an example. The vapor pressure of water at various temperature is in table below. Draw a scatter diagram of these data. Plot fitted line plot that describe the relationship between temperature and pressure. Residual analysis for the model. Choose graph scatter plot simple. Under Y variables, enter temperature. Under X variables, enter pressure, click OK. The two variables are moderately related. The scatter plot shows nonlinear relationship between pressure and temperature. This means that the relationship between pressure and temperature is not a simple straight line, but rather a more complex curve. Recognizing and understanding this nonlinearity is vital for accurately predicting and controlling the behavior of our systems. What is next? Let create a fitted line plot to understand the relationship between these two variables. Regression analysis using Minitab Assistant. Choose Assistant or Regression, Simple Regression. In Y column, enter temperature. In X column, enter pressure. Under Type of Regression Model, select Choose for Me. The report card provides information about assumptions for the procedure being used and contains a list of potential failure modes that can be automatically detected. We can see that our sample size, n equals 20, is not large enough to provide a very precise estimate of the strength of the relationship. To obtain a more precise estimate, larger samples, typically 40 or more, should be used. By increasing the sample size, we can enhance the precision of our estimates and ensure that our findings are more representative of the population we are studying. It is important for us to recognize the significance of sample size in research and the impact it has on the validity and reliability of our results. As we move forward with our research endeavors, let us keep in mind the importance of utilizing larger samples to obtain more precise estimates and to contribute to the advancement of knowledge in our respective fields. While the majority of our data points may conform to the expected pattern and are well fit by the established equations, it is crucial to acknowledge and understand the presence of these outliers. One data point has a large residual and is not well fit by the equation. This point is marked in red on the plots and is in row 16 of the worksheet. As we strive for accuracy and precision in our data analysis, it is imperative to approach these large residuals with a curious and open mindset. Instead of dismissing them as anomalies, we must delve deeper into understanding the factors that contribute to their deviation from the expected values. By doing so, we can uncover hidden patterns, refine our models, and ultimately enhance the reliability and robustness of our analyses. The model selection report contains a fitted line plot as well as summary statistic. After careful analysis, it has become evident that a quadratic model fits the data exceptionally well. This finding is significant as it allows us to make more accurate predictions and inform decisions based on the data at hand. The R-squared adjusted value for the quadratic model stands at an impressive 82.08%. This indicates that 82.08% of the variability in the data is accounted for by the quadratic model. Such a high R-squared value reinforces the reliability and validity of our model, giving us confidence in its predictive capabilities. The prediction report shows a scatterplot with the fitted regression model and the prediction limits. 
a table shows the predicted responses as well as the prediction interval for various values for x. This table is crucial in understanding the range of possible values for the predicted responses, giving us a clear understanding of the uncertainty associated with the predictions. The quadratic model is a powerful tool that helps us analyze and interpret the relationship between two variables. It provides us with valuable insights into the nature of this relationship and allows us to make informed decisions based on these insights. One important measure of the effectiveness of the quadratic model is the R-squared value, which represents the proportion of variability in the response explained by the equation. In the case at hand, the model explains an impressive 83.96% of the variation in the response. This high R-squared value indicates that the quadratic model is a strong and reliable predictor of the relationship between Y and X. Fitted Line Plot Fitted Line Plot examines the relationship between one continuous predictor and a response. Whether we are analyzing sales data, customer demographics, or scientific measurements, the fitted line plot offers a clear and concise way to interpret the relationship between variables. It enables us to identify correlations, predict future outcomes, and ultimately drive meaningful action within our organizations. Choose STAT a regression fitted line plot. In response, Y, enter temperature. In predictor, X, enter pressure. Under type of regression model, select quadratic. The model explains 84% of the variation in the response. This is a remarkable achievement and speaks volumes about the effectiveness of the statistical techniques employed. R-squared is a crucial metric that helps us determine how well a model fits our data. It represents the proportion of variability in the response variable that is explained by the equation. When we analyze data and build statistical models, it is essential to assess the goodness of fit, and R-squared provides us with a valuable tool to do so. The higher the R-squared value, the better the model fits the data. This means that a high R-squared value indicates that the independent variables are doing a good job of explaining the variation in the dependent variable. R-squared adjusted is a modified version of the R-squared that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. This is crucial because it helps us understand the true impact of the independent variables on the dependent variable. The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. This means that we need to be mindful of the variables we include in our regression models, ensuring that they truly enhance the predictive power of the model. I am truly honored to have the opportunity to address you today. As we gather here, I am reminded of the importance of your support to our channel. Your dedication and loyalty mean the world to us, and for that, we are immensely grateful. In closing, I kindly ask for your ongoing support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Your support is invaluable to us, and we are truly grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being a part of our community.